blessed to be amongst two great people. Oh, they can hear us. Oh, welcome to the Impact with Robin Dorsey. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us here tonight. I am so excited that you are here with me yet again. Thank you and welcome. Tonight, we have some fantastic and amazing guests in the studio. I cannot wait for you to meet them, but if you've seen the fantastic and fabulous flyer, you already know who they are. And they did this big, huge movie premiere that was nothing short of amazing called A Day in the Life. So, without further ado, we're about to introduce to you our fantastic and fabulous guest for you all today. Because I can't wait for you to hear this great and amazing dialogue that we're about to talk to you about. So, without further ado, let me introduce you our first guest. So, our first guest is Edwin Maker Jr. He was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. As a young adult growing up in the church, he became a young adult minister and really grew interest in drama and arts and put on acts and skits for his church and family. So he started out young and it started out with God. I love that. In 2012, he attended an Anne Arundel Community College pursuing their theater arts and fell in love with acting. Yes. From there, he began taking more acting classes and decided he wanted to tell his own story and began to write it. It's nothing like a good storyteller. Yes. He has written two movies and one play. And you're going to hear about some of that in just a few moments. His second movie hasn't recently premiered this month, A Day in the Life, and received good feedback and is looking forward to more good feedback this fall from film festivals. Now our next guest is his partner in crime. I mean these two brothers they got together and they made some magic. I mean I'm telling you they are awesome. I really love these young black men here doing their thing. So our next guest that I'm going to introduce to you it's Mr. Jeremy Butler, but they call him Jay Sykes. Mr. You know, Sykes. He got an AKA <laughs> alias, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know when you get an alias, that means you're important. You add aliases to your name. You know, that's also known as. Okay? But Mr. Jeremy Butler, also known as, as I stated, Jay Sykes, is a director, writer, actor, photographer, cinematographer, and editor. Oh my God, he can write five jobs all in that one sentence right. I love it I love it just don't understand you gotta have multiple streams of talents under your belt and he has that he has also held all of these titles professionally for over 10 years so he's not no rookie to this you know from making home movies as a child to red copper theater premieres film and production are his passion and his first love yes I love it <laughs> Jeremy has recently written and starred in a seven episode YouTube series entitled Let Go. So we're going to have to look that up. YouTube series, Let Go. Check it out. But you'll hear more from him shortly, so don't you even worry. We got some treats in store for you. He was also the director of photography for the movie original, originally a stage play, What If? Mm. That premiered at the Hoyt West Nursery Cinemas. Jeremy has currently partnered up with local stage plays and film director Edwin Maker Jr. to film a movie called A Day in the Life. And let me just tell you, that movie premiere was fantastic. They had all kinds of star-studded guests. Their guest was phenomenal. The premiere was awesome. I mean, these brothers got it going on. So without further ado, let me introduce you my fantastic guest today, Mr. Edwin Maker Jr. and Mr. Jeremy Butler, aka Jay Sykes. <laughs> Hello and welcome, hey, gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey. We're so humble. happy to be here. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm so glad that you all are here in the studio with me today. Just glad we got to be here. Appreciate the invite. Yes. I didn't get any sleep last night. Like. No. Oh no. <laughs> Just, I've been too excited. Like. You've been too excited. Been too oh, excited. I love that. See, oh, I made them. He excited. texted me earlier. Like, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes. See. Hello. Okay. So, tell us. 
let's start with you, Edwin. So tell us, when did you know that, like, you wanted to act and do this? Like, at what age did this dream start filtering into your, you know, your spirit and your mm -hmm. soul? It's funny. It's actually not that long ago. Um, I started uh, attending uh, Anne Arundel Community College, like you said, in 2007. Okay. And in 2010... 2011 I took this acting class okay and I liked it I was struggling like trying to figure out like what it is I want to do okay and I was like okay I'm like animated I'm funny I yes, can, I can yes. do this and then I actually just started pursuing it more I started taking acting classes um, but I realized, you know, it can be kind of difficult to okay. get acting jobs. Yes, yes it so, can. Starving artists. I'm like, I'm guaranteed to get the, the role if, <laughs> if I write. If you write, start <laughs> hitting, yes! If yes. I write it myself. So, around that 2013 mark, I started um, writing my own stories. Okay. So, around that 2012 time, I wasn't, like, sure, like, this is definitely what I want to do. Yes. Around that 2013 mark, I'm like, I, I can definitely, I'm... Not to be cocky, but I'm good at it. Yes. You know what I, I'm saying? I like that. Not to be cocky, but you good at it. When you know what you know, you're not worried about the rest, but continue. No, I'm not. I love it. I I'm love not. It. And from there, it's just like, I just, I fell in love with it. I fell in love yes. with it. And um, it can be scary. It can. It can be scary it can. because it's not like a, it's not like being a doctor. You be a doctor, you go to a medical <laughs> school, get your degree, and then you go to a hospital. With, yes. With acting, like with, with a talent that's like pretty much your body, your yes. voice, it's like you never know when it's going to come. It's not like you're filling Absolutely. out an application, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're filling out an application to be an actor and you're just going to get the job. It's yes. like you got to work on your craft. You got to just go full force. And like you never know. I know actors, you hear stories, it's like people didn't actually get that big break today, like 40 or 50. Yes. So. You never know when it's coming, so it can be discouraging at times, but it's worth it, and I, I love it. Yes, actually, Taraji um, Henson from this area, uh -huh. she said she didn't start until she was 40. She said she took, a, she had her last dime, spent her last dime, picked up her son, and they went, moved into, relocated to L.A. Mm -hmm. She said she didn't have, you know, basically a little bit of money in her pocket, but she was determined that this is what she wanted to do, and look at her now. I mean, yeah. she's in Empire and all these movies, and yeah. she's just phenomenal, so it's never too late to start your dreams, because dreams do come true. If you pursue it, you know, it's up to you. You know, it starts with us. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. So, Mr. Jeremy J. Right. Well, I mean, what can what, what would you like for us to Sykes. call you? Since you have many different Sykes. names here. Um, J. J. Swan, J. Sykes. <laughs> I mean, we're friends. We're family here. So. That's right. We all family. It's all love here. By the way, he has a nickname too. He didn't tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You holding back? He has an AKA. Oh. Oh. It was. It just, I just got it recently, like the last two or three months. Okay, okay. I was, you know, I felt like I was sliding. Yeah. You holding it back? You, you gotta tell the back. world, man. Tell the world. Man. Yes. What, so what he it? gave it to me. He said, <laughs> Jay gave it to me. He said I need to wear the little Pierre hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he, okay. it's not Edwin, but he said Edwin Dubois. Oh. That's my oh. director name. That's my director yes. name. That's fancy. That's yes. Yes. Edwin so Dubois. Fancy. Right. It sounds real fancy, and you know, a lot of clout. So you know, <laughs> I don't know. You might want to stick with that. There's people yes. like, oh yeah, I oh I want to work with him, Mr. Du Mr. <laughs> yeah, Dubois. Mr. Dubois, where is he? Can <laughs> I meet him? Name, yeah, I like bro. that. Name, I think I'm gonna change that. That's, that's slick. I'm gonna change my Facebook name. <laughs> as soon as we leave it, as soon as we leave it. <laughs> I love it. These guys are funny. <laughs> okay, so finish telling us about so your start and where did it start for you? When was your inception so, to this dream here? Um, at the premiere, you saw my uh, production company's name is Tri J. Yes, Tri J. Um, Where did that name come from? Let's start there first. Hold on, let's back um, up. Three J's, Jeremy, Tri -J. Jared, and Janae, my brother and sister, oh, used wow. to make um, home videos okay. all the time, little comedy. So, again, you see on social media, I do yes. the comedy sketches. It started with them um, doing stuff for the family, getting friends over, filming little skits, and acting like our parents and our grandparents, and sitting down and watching it. It was real goofy. Okay. Um, but it. my inspiration was Will Smith, like watching Fresh yeah. Prince at a young age. Yes. Like he's the reason that I'm doing this right now. I love it. Um, from looking at him owning his own production company and filming those his own things, that's what started me with Tri J. And Tri J didn't start as a movie production company. Okay. We started filming weddings yeah. uh, and pretty much anything I could get my hands yes. on, networking with different people. 
Um, but acting has always been my main passion, okay. my main okay. goal. Um, but yeah, like I, I it's, it was a blessing how we met. Like, yeah, it, it was. was. It was crazy. It, and it so, was how destined. did you all meet? Hmm. It was destined. On another production, we were actually in a stage play together. Okay. Yeah. Which play? Yeah. Which play? What if? What, what if? if? Oh, that's the what if. Yeah. Yes. Right. What if? What if they met and they did? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, you know, it was cool. He came on, I think we met about a year ago, like last July, almost a year ago. Yeah. He came on set and it was just like, I feel like we're just like a lot of like, we have a yes. lot in common. Uh, except for the Patriots. I love right. Ravens. You oh, know. Because <laughs> you know what? He wants to be on the team that, that that always wins. Nobody likes a team that always wins. Nobody got time for that. But, you know, you know we're not going to go there. We talk over. about good stuff today. Yes, yes. Right. We're not going to go there stuff. with your little team that want to win Dang. every year, go to the Super Bowl. But, you know, that's, they, they lost like, this time. sounds like hate. That sounds like it, a lot it, of hate. It is. It is. I'm a Redskins fan, and we're going to get back there. We play y'all first game of the preseason. Yes. We play y'all. I think we need to have a football party and try to, you know, see how Y'all bets over here, but okay. let's get back. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so y'all met at the play. What yeah. if? Yep, and what if became a movie mm. also. And then it's just like, we were just like connecting and vibing. And I was yes. telling him, I got this project coming up. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me send me the script. That sounds okay. like me. That's, that's yeah. how I said it. That's how you said it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just send me the script. Let me, send, send me the script. Right. And then he's read it. He said, I love it. Um, I want to play this guy. So, okay, but play oh, this guy. Okay. So, he even put himself in there already. He just read it for a hot <laughs> second. And then knows. he was like, put me in there. Wait a minute. Write me in the script. Like, they're going to write me in the script for the media oh, we got person. You. So, we got you. watch. If you don't see, if we don't get this, we're going to have a problem later. But anyway. Know? He's like cash tight though. Like he's cash. He exactly. always played a bad guy. I'm oh really? Villain. I'm always the villain. Oh. He saw my first role. Uh -huh. and he let go, and he was like, "Yeah, I can see you playing this really? guy." Yeah, definitely. Okay. So okay. initially, I was only supposed to play a character in okay. my life, and then one thing led to another, and I ended up filming it. Yeah, so he was the character, he was the director, Come he had some juicy, that. steamy scenes in there. I mean, he was just doing it all. So did you, did you write your scene. little self into, <laughs> into uh, that part over there? We provide opportunities, who, though. Who exactly. That? Exactly. Oh, provide opportunities. opportunities. <laughs> yes. We so y'all can get the ladies in these scenes. Hmm. Well, you know, but <laughs> it's always like, I don't know. A, a lot of times, we you know, we write scripts and stuff. People feel left out. So Aww, we try to include. We try to give the love. Everybody in. Add a little bit of edge to the yes. movie. You it know. Was, it wasn't too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love. <laughs> You no, look a little shy over there. Are we oh, no, I'm not. This is a girl in everything he does. Wait a minute. So and you're just like a serial kisser? That's, that's what it is. I like <laughs> no, that. it's not true. It's not true and at all. everything. <laughs> it's not true. Oh, my God. It that's only great. happened in your movie. Uh-huh. And Let Go. Uh-huh. And in one of my comedy sketches. Uh-huh. It's only, it's only like a whole lot of tongue. Go, go, to, go follow oh this guy right God. now. Uh, hey. Jay Sykes on Instagram. He's tonguing down like 20 different girls. That's not, that's, that's not true. <laughs> you tonguing down like 20 different girls. Yeah. Wow. It's for the art. It's for the art. It's it is art. It is strictly you professional. Just, just, it's strictly It's business. You're strictly just critiquing your, 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 exactly. your talents. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and your mm -hmm. skills, you know, you got to keep it fresh, you right? You have to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to keep it professional. If they yes. fall in love, you'll fall in love. It's on you. It's just professional. It's just, just acting. It's, it's just acting. acting. It's, exactly. it's just acting. It's just acting. Yes, exactly. I love it. I love it. So what age did you actually start this whole genre? Like professionally? Well, what are you well, talking well, about? Like being a villain? Yeah. Well, not the villain, but just your love for, you know, creating this art. I told you since I was little, and I like I remember I think I got my first gig. Somebody from my church. I was filming mm. in my church. That's where I started. That's where okay, he started see? doing it that stuff. It all started with God. Hello? Always starting with church. Um, and then one of my family friends somehow booked me an event to film some like political event that was mm. happening at a big church in D.C. Okay. And then I remember after that event, sitting in my car and like praying, like mm. I was I was young, okay. and I was like praying hard, like please, like let this take off me, let this happen. But I really didn't have the experience yet, yeah. mm. so I knew I'd probably have to wait. But over the years, things have just been happening that I can't explain. I know it's God. Yeah. So I uh, yeah. Every morning yeah. I wake up and realize that we're doing what we love. Yes, yeah. and I'm that's just, so I'm just important. God every day, man. That is so important because. Most a lot of people don't love what they do, but mm. when you get up to go to work for yourself and do what you love with your passion, mm -hmm. 
priceless. You can't put a price tag on that. And like somebody that. else asked us this at the red carpet. They were like, you guys working together, I know how much work goes. I think you asked us. Yes. I know yes. how much work goes into it. Was there any stress? And there wasn't. We, we get, yes, this, I this is my brother. Yes, like, I this did. is This is like my we're brother. Bled. Bro, we bled. Like, bled. Oh. So, like, literally, the whole process was fun. I know it was a lot of work, but right. there was not one ounce of stress yes, throughout the whole project. I love that. No, no. And to have that continuity, mm-hmm. that is just so important because we often, you know, get to different roles or responsibilities where, you know, we start out working together and then it just doesn't gel or mesh and then we, you know, go there or power struggle. And when I, or I will say that when I met you all and when I interviewed you all, I did feel a kind of sense that you all had a great relationship, you know, working together. You all were very professional, very humble. And these are all of the things that you need in this field because in this field, people think that we, you know, as artists have this air or we're arrogant or we're this. But when you have that humble spirit and when you're leading with God first and then doing what you love and that showed doing your interview with that I interviewed you all on the red carpet and just mm-hmm. talking to you all, you know, really shows your character and what you all are about. And I just, you know, thank you all for being who you are because we can lose ourselves in this business because, you know, we're trying to be at this level and you have to, you know, some people feel you have to act a certain way. But if you act the way, you know, you were meant to be yourself and put God first, you don't have to worry about the rest. Facts. You right yeah. about this. Facts. You right about yeah. this. Yes. Plus, my family won't let me get arrogant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, J- uh, Jerome Butler on Facebook oh said, gosh. Is God the center of your life? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's my dad. Yes, he <laughs> is. That's Pops. Hey, oh, what's hi, up, Pops? Dad. Hello, Dad. What's up, Pops? <laughs> love Hello, it. Dad. So, when you all did this movie premiere, mm-hmm. Actually, let's start back. When you started filming this movie premiere, um, what was your expectations? Expectations? Um, we expected it to be big. Um, mm, yes. we had, I want to estimate, <laughs> it was probably, I don't know the exact number, but it was definitely over 200 people that came. Yes, absolutely. I um, can attest for that. So it was, it was a great turnout. Um, but the main thing is though, like you said, God is the center yes. um, of our lives. Yeah. So it's just like the story, you know, like we are, we like to entertain, we like to yes. get laughs, we like to, we like to make people feel a certain way. Mm. Uh, but the main thing is like the story, like I wanted to show the the side of the police because it's yes. a struggle being a police officer. Yes. You know, it was one actually ran over with a car yeah, in Baltimore. Just recently. You know, so it's a struggle, you yeah. know, knowing that you can, that you're going to go outside and you could possibly right. lose your life. And there's also, you know, young men and women who are being killed. Yes. And it's like they're not even, you know, really a threat. Right. So, you know, I wanted to show that just be, that every police officer is in bed. Every minority or person of color is in bed. And right. I also wanted to show what's definitely a problem with yes. these school shootings. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to use the gift God gave me to... Yeah. You know, to pay an impact, like, everybody isn't the same. Yes. You know, Jeremy was on board with that also. So, like, the main goal, like, when I write yes. is to, you got to get something from my movies yes. and plays. Yes, I love it that. It shouldn't just be like, oh, I was entertained. Right. But like, exactly. It's a message behind it. It's a that. message behind yes. it. Yes. And I feel like, you know, we're here for a reason. I talk to God all the time. Like, I don't know exactly why I'm yeah. here. But he keeps waking me up every yes, morning. So every day. Thank what you am I gonna me. do while I'm here? Yes. Like this is a gift he gave me to to use a tool yes. while I'm here. So it's too much hate in this world. It and we is. gotta start it is. Say it again. It's yes. too much hate in this yes. world. It's yes, too much, bro. it's too much. And we, we have gotta to start love showing one another. Love. Yes, and support one another. Definitely. And Jeremy was like right on board with it. Like Yay. I like the message, I like the concept and you know, we've been rocking and rolling ever since November. It took us it only took us three days to shoot that, that Wow. Was three days. They, I mean they was too. on the grind. They was grinding. Well, three days of production, people don't even that's a that's a hard grind. Let to, me piggy, to piggyback off of what you said, the film that the, what made me jump onto this film that fast was all the previous films that I've been a part of was for entertainment. Yes. And 
again, playing a bad guy right. just to, like, intimidate and scare people right. and get a message across. But this movie was different because it was telling a story of stuff that's happening every yeah. single day. Yeah. And when we were filming, people were, like, on set were asking, like, how are y'all doing it this fast? Like, how are y'all getting these scenes down right. that fast? And I was looking at him like, I don't, <laughs> right. Right. I don't know how we're doing this. And then I think it was the second day after we finished doing the school shooting scene. Wow. And we were just standing outside talking, and Edwin literally was like, you know what? I just love God so much. And I was like, oh, that's wow. how we're doing this. <laughs> Okay, so cool. That's I knew you were a man of God, but yes. to hear like how passionate you were about it, we're on that same page, and yes. that's why everything came together the way that it did. Yeah, I, I honestly believe that. Definitely, and acting. I mean, acting and filmmaking and play production, yes. theater arts in general, all take time. So yes, it's not like it we were does. just like, oh all right, my God. Up, your lines. Right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hurry up, we gotta go. So and so gotta go. <laughs> Film, you know, time is money, but yes, we we took our time with it. Good. So like. We we were just like the actors just knew their lines, and Jay everybody you know was yeah. pretty much on time and good. That's important, people. If you want to be in this business, you <laughs> have to be on time. Oh, we were too. freaking. He be getting on me too. Like if we gotta scratch yes. this whole scene or scratch this person out because yes. they not here. Then we gotta rock and roll. It's not personal. It's business. It's not. It's all not. business. Time is money. Yes. Time, time is, is definitely money. But um, Jeremy, he uh. We took our we took our time with it. Yeah. We took our time with it. We shot like two or three scenes a day, and we had like the whole day to do wow. it. Wow! So don't That's think phenomenal. that we rushed it. Don't oh, think no, we rushed no, no. it. It's and just, the quality it's just how it came shows together. that it wasn't rushed. Too. Yeah, the quality. I didn't want to. I didn't want to make it seem like it was rushed, but it's like the way things just fell together mm-hmm. so perfectly. It was. It was I, I told him exactly. Like, it it yes. felt like I literally picked up the camera, blacked out. Mm. And then woke back up and he the, said the movie was, was done. done. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's how it, the, the process literally seemed like that. Yes. I left out a very important uh, important part. This okay. guy showed up to the set <laughs> in a full suit every single wow, day. Wow, that's a cool man. kit. Yeah. Like, yes. if, if I show up in a t-shirt, it's right. a shirt. Y'all not gonna take me seriously. Right. He demanded the respect of yes. all the actors and cast and crew. So I was like, this is gonna this is gonna go well. Yeah. Cause you like you want you want people to work with you again. Yes. You, like, you, you know you take care of people. They take care of you. That's he right. catered Absolutely. it. Chick fil A. Yeah. He was in the kitchen cooking grits. Yes. <laughs> oh wow! You are the man. Like, I take care of my. I yeah, take care of my people. You have to. It was, it was definitely people. a family environment. Yeah. Yes, I love that. I love that. And like I said, y'all, chemistry is just phenomenal. It's off the chain. So, I mean, I could just imagine the work environment because you have to have a solid work environment because if not, you're going to have chaos and confusion. And to have, you know, you all starting at the top and having that chemistry and the relationship that you do and what you all bring to the table individually and together is just phenomenal. So keep that. stay there in that place and continue to be in that place because that's going to take you all far. I remember after I interviewed you all and when I went home and I was telling people about the premiere, mm-hmm. I said, you know, these guys, they were very professional. And I said, but the most important thing that I think I got out of it was that you all were very humble. Being a humble, being very humble is a lot of people don't possess that talent, you know, because they get too big for their britches. But you all just had that humble spirit and that makes people want to work with you even more and to pour into you and to believe in you to know that you're going to go even farther to stay in that place because you all got it. The gun is good. That was good. I was telling him like people be calling and stuff like, oh, let me get, let me know the next time y'all rocking and rolling because, oh, we, you know, we want to be a part of it. So, we were getting like a lot of uh, movie pitch ideas also. So We didn't even get upstairs to pop Bottles of champagne, champagne with the cast yeah, we had until. Champagne after. Oh, yeah. I missed I think, that! Yeah, I missed that! We gotta get a bottle of champagne. We gave you VIP pass, right? We did. Yeah, you did. that was to get upstairs and. Well, in I was up there yeah. the first part, but okay, then the second you, part, I didn't know you. that you know afterwards. We barely made it upstairs. We had like a thousand movie pictures. I feel like yeah. every freaking single person who came to the premiere had spoke yes, to us. Yes, yes. Everybody spoke and to us. And that that was love. And one other thing that I just have to mention because we were talking about God and putting God first. That their congregation showed up mm-hmm. to have that level of support from your congregation yeah. not only me that only that shows their character who they are and that their congregation believed in them and they sold into their dream and their passion and they went there to support 
you don't get that everywhere you go to so to have that again that speaks volumes and volumes about the character and who they are as a person and you know that's just off the chain so I said oh of course I have to have them on the impact with Robin Dorsey <laughs> I mean I know I did the red carpet and all but you know they need to come on in this platform so that people can hear and actually see behind the scenes and who they are and what they possess and what they bring it's just invaluable and you said, we're, we're very humble, but I know I talked to you on the phone a couple of weeks ago. You was like, you know, the show is booked up for like the next couple of months. So we, we feel blessed to be here. Oh, yeah. exactly. was like, I feel like you might have pushed some people to the side. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Don't you tell know? nobody because, you know, they're going to be mad. like, but well, wait a minute. You told me I can't get into it. I'm so sorry. In advance. But you, you put us in there. Yes. Definitely yeah. appreciate that. No Definitely. problem. So we have a comment from Facebook. So Ariel Bryant, oh, I just Muffy. wanted to say that I am a big fan of Try J Productions and JoJo Maker Productions. Hey. I am inspired by both of you guys and look up to you. Nice part, Jimmy. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another one of my nicknames. Oh, see, I you just told like you, you like he got like 20,000 titles and <laughs> 5,000 nicknames. See, she, you don't even know who he is for real. Shout, shout out to, <laughs> to uh, Ariel. AKA Muffy, like she's definitely been a big part of the support system. She also supports JoJo Maker. When she found out that we were grouping up, she already knew him from the play. Wow. So she was definitely supporting that and behind us all the way with that. She also did the, um, she printed out the poster that you saw at the theater. Yes. She printed yes. that out. Yes. Oh, and good job. So. We're going to have to, might have to have you on my show, Ariel. Um, call me. <laughs> Get my number from these gentlemen here. You know, I love to promote, you know, businesses and things <laughs> who are doing wonderful things. Um, and Tanya Jenkins said, amen. So, you know, you all being who you are. I love it. I love hey, it. Look hey, at all this support you. we got thank going you. on over here on this Facebook stream. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Yes. So, tell us, what was the most memorable part of filming for A Day in a Life? You want to go first? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm <laughs> Uh oh, that's uh -oh. Me, you got? I already got something already. I just yes. think the whole I don't know, like I, I got a little teary eye at the end because okay. like, you know, it was an uphill yes. battle. Although there was no stress, it wasn't like it came easy. I yes. took out loans. Yes. <laughs> I took out yes. loans for this process. I had people cancel like on me, like as far as actors right. committing to the project, mm -hmm. like a week or two before. Wow. Um, getting freaking permits yes. for you know to film outside it was an uphill battle but like everything came into place like originally like you said he wasn't he was just supposed to be an actor in it okay but then you know how things went yes. he became the director of photography um it was just a struggle and it's just like i'm like how i know like this is what i'm supposed yes. to do like i've set out to accomplish many goals yes. in my life but on the last day of filming, Jay said, all right, that's a wrap. And I was like, cut. He was like, this is the last shot. This is the last shot. I just felt so good. I gave yes. this man a hug. And we were all sitting around. Like, everybody was eating. I couldn't eat. I was just sitting there like right. this. Right. You was yeah. reflecting. You had yeah. a moment of reflection. And because it started, like, years before. Like, I yes. wrote the script probably, like, in 2015. Wow. Um, after Mike Brown died. Okay. And then I had good people in my corner. It was like, well, no, I don't know if that really makes sense. You should probably change okay. this and move this around. So it started from 2015, and that was 2018. Wow. And it was just like an uphill battle. I edited the script. I had challenges. And like uh, like 30 minutes after everybody sitting around eating, I'm just sitting there like, like I really did that. Yes. <laughs> like, it's like yes. real. Dreams do come true. So, yes. like, I don't know. Like, I just think. The whole process was awesome, but, like, I just think to accomplish it. Like, yes. I was, like, in, like, I knew it was going to get done, but I was, like, in awe. Like, they was, like, eat something. Like, we'll buy you some. You want something? I remember I kept forcing <laughs> right. fries. He was, like, like forcing fries. I had, like, a plate of fries. Right. I was, like, just eat them, bro. Right. I was, like, all right, I'll take one. Okay. All right, I'm, like, I'll take one. I'll take one. But, like, it was just, like, just to complete it that last day. Like, I really, like, got 20-something people to come out. Yeah. They were like, everybody was professional. It, it was amazing. Like, it was a great process. And, like, to hear, like, oh, I'm ready to work with you again. Like, I got to work with you yes. again. 
Like, it was a feeling I never felt before. Yeah. Like, and I've accomplished many things. I've, like, preached before. I put yeah. together seminars. I've done a lot, but completing a movie yes. like that. And I did an, another short film. Yeah. But I didn't I didn't feel the feeling I did with that with first this film. this one. Because this was... This yeah, like, yeah. it was something about this film. It yeah. was just, like, I felt something in my heart. Like, yes. I really just did that. Yeah. Like, I don't know if anybody out there has ever, like, set together a goal where it took them some years yep. to accomplish it. Yes. And it just made you feel, like, warm all over. Yes. Like, and I walked into my sick and was like, we did that. Yes. We did it. Yes. We walked around shaking everybody's hand and everything. It was like, you know, you know, when you filming outside, it's like people like walking like, right. Doing? They right. waving right. guns down. They, 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 they all want to be waving the camera. Hey, you see me? Right, like, they all waving at <laughs> the camera. How you doing? Like, do you see us filming? It was this Crazy. random little boy who walked up on set like... <laughs> Well, do you know him? Like, you know this guy? <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. Right. Random little boy just standing on set. Like, he wanted to be in a part of the movie. He wanted to be a part of the movie. <laughs> but yeah, that was just the accomplishment. It was amazing. Wow. Awesome. And what was the yours? Most, I guess the, the highest point, I do have to say, the whole process was great. Okay. But the build-up was to the final scene. We actually shot that scene the last day. Okay. And so we pulled up to the location. I'm out there... Was it like 6 30 7 a.m we yeah we started early days we started 7 a.m yeah days. Okay. and we're looking at our phones at the weather app like it was supposed to be sunny it said it's sunny uh -oh. but we see some clouds yeah. and then it starts <laughs> raining oh so, we're like, uh, so you have all this equipment so rain is not necessarily good we have all this equipment so we were going back and forth and questioning like should we reschedule or, right. or should we move forward so we went inside filmed some inside scenes the scene you're talking about the right. kissing scene yeah you got to see this scene i'm telling you <laughs> this one right here oh all right gosh. but we, we, we're not we, gonna talk about we it went right back now. outside and we shot the I think the police shooting scene. Okay. Okay. And, well, no. The, well, I don't want to give too much away because people are still going to come on to see it. Yeah. So we shot the police scenes, but we actually had a real police officer from Baltimore there on set. Okay. Just seeing that and seeing the signs, like he had signs posted yes. on yes. the Yeah, like a week corner. before yes. I posted signs up so they weren't like, oh, they out there waving guns. Like, right. like So they were like right. ready for you us to be You need to be, be prepared and so that that's, is so important. That's also what I was asking you before we started filming. He was like, I really want to go to the hood, and I want to film this hood part yes. in the hood for real. Yes. And I was like, <laughs> like, uh -oh. like we're gonna have guns, like, right. real, like guns in the street, and we're gonna be running up. So that it, everything just worked out perfectly. Yes, the way it's supposed. And to. that, like I said, the build up to that last scene that yes. you saw, that was probably my favorite scene to shoot because it was just so intense. Yeah. And like he said, after everything was done. I yelled us a rap, he said cut, and everybody was just hugging. We took yeah. pictures together. So it was really it, it was a family environment. I keep Aww. I keep saying that, but that's that's really what it was. Yeah. This film, this project felt different than any other project that I've been a part of. Yeah. So I'm sure you all have well first of all, so that you you all were telling me that there's a part two. Uh, in the works, in the works, okay. in the works, yeah. But no, June the 10th. Oh, so, so we're... Tell us what's going on on June right. the 10th. So, uh, June the 10th, if you weren't able to come out and make the, uh, the Red Copper Premier, okay. June 10th, that's a Sunday, we're going to have a 3 p.m. and a 6 p.m. showing. All right. Um, also, it's a short film, but I also have another short film playing before it. Um, that's entitled Dinner for Daddy. Scene from um, you, threw people, you threw people off with that one, yes. People, yes. people were cringing, we we people were like looking that. at the screen like we this, like, like it was very uncomfortable. I'm not expecting this. <laughs> Oh, no. That's like yeah. That's I'm actually coming out with a play in the fall too. I tell tell you about that later. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that, but tell you about that later. We were watching. We I leaned over. Going over I leaned over to him like, "What made you write this? Like, right. <laughs> what, what was your inspiration?" It's funny, you know. So I got a, a sh another short playing before um, a day in the life, June 10th. But like I said, I always write with the purpose. Each right. scene has to have a purpose. You know. You know. We all. Struggle. We all struggle. <laughs> Sometimes we struggle with lust. Yes. I have friends that are, you know, or I've met people who are promiscuous. Right. Not you, though. Of course not. not. Of course no, not. no. Nobody no. on this platform right here. I don't know. I don't know anyone like that. Yeah, we, nah. we don't do that here. We don't do that here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I wrote, that's kind of the reason I wrote um, the Dinner for Daddy short, you know. Can't really tell y'all what goes on in it. You just gotta see it. But um, if you, you know, it'll make you cautious 
about you know <laughs> it definitely will. the lust factor mm. you know what we struggle with um so i don't know, I don't know who we is right who, you i mean right we, we don't do that here <laughs> because i don't know this stone, platform right. here but i don't i don't judge people so right, i know those right, stones right. in the class <laughs> in the class house right. you know <laughs> so you know we all have our own struggles yeah. Mm, yeah. so um dinner for daddy it'll definitely you know Make you cautious about the, you know, that dating and promiscuous, promiscuity. Hey, you gotta ask some questions. Is what you got to do. Yeah. Ask some questions. Don't be just doing all this. Getting you better ask anybody. some questions first. Right. You know, if you're struggling, <laughs> you know, finding Mister, <laughs> Mrs. Right. You know, you just seek God and He'll bring that person to you. That's right. right. So right. you know, I, it's more than just a day in the life. If you come out June tenth, we got a three o'clock and a six p.m. show. I also got another short. So. It's worth the uh, ticket price. Tickets are fifteen dollars. Yes, it is. So, um, come out if you're not doing nothing that Sunday, second Sunday in June. We'd and like then you to get to meet these fabulous young gentlemen here, you know. You know. And then they you get to talk and chop it up with them, you know, pick their brain after you see these short stuff because you're gonna have some questions. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> really? Oh, that's what you was mean? Oh, that what that was that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So then, you know, y'all have a different type of dialogue. We have a few yeah. VIP passes left, too, so. Ooh. Yeah, so definitely. It's all have some special. Yes. Have some yes. So, what's next for you all? Um, so, hmm. the dinner for daddy that you'll, that you'll see, okay. or that some of you have seen right. um, at the Red Cup of a Mirror, that's, uh, like, one scene of a play that I have called Life Goes On. Okay. The Life, Life Goes, Goes On, on date is not secure yet okay. um probably will be october or okay. november of this year um i have a great friend who um who said she wants to invest in it i mm. told her I, I didn't have much funds to yes. push it out she was like well we're gonna get you out there good because um you know we can't have you slow down you got a yes. gift and i believe in it that's amazing what happened yes. you have a gift that other people believe yes. in it yes because I've reached out to, I'm pretty sure Jeremy has reached out to yes. like multi million dollar, yes. billion dollar corporations, and they tell you no. But you know, the people, you know, the little people, your friends, your family, who are willing to invest, that's amazing. Yes. So, um, so I if you're looking to invest on these gentlemen, on these future product, it's products, worth it. Please. You know, please give, the, give them a call, and they're going to give you that contact information a little later in the show, but yes. Definitely, definitely. So, um, Dinner for Daddy is a scene in Life Goes On. It's my play, it's called Life Goes On coming this uh fall and you know it's about it has a, a married couple that marriage is withering away young man who's struggling with the street life and going yeah. straight and a young man who can't fulfill his girlfriend's needs so it'll it'll definitely like i after people saw the the first time the play the first time they were like i don't even want to leave, leave my seat i had to use a bathroom I could. <laughs> right right so it'll definitely um it's, it's definitely worth the, the ticket price so it's coming this fall so i'm gonna stay in contact with y'all haven't secured a date yet yes but definitely october november and um we about to work on another project. Uh oh, yeah, uh oh. Yeah, what yeah. do tell? Tell a little bit. What you got? What you He's got? He's the writer, so, so uh, I want to tell. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So um, it's a which way? Which name are you using for this one? Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, <laughs> Jeremy C Y Butler. Oh, okay. He's gonna use his government name for yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> um, it's a Bonnie and Clyde oh. style film. Of course, I play um the, the Clyde character. <laughs> He's, he's, I mean, he's not a bad guy, okay, okay. but kind of. Okay. And the young lady that played my girlfriend and let go, uh, Bronlin, she plays the uh, Bonnie character. Okay. And of course, this guy plays our best friend. Oh, um, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Shout I out, see the continuity here. Exactly. Shout out to Jackie. She played the mom at the end of the movie. Yeah. Um, yes. She's gonna play my mom now. This time, when she plays the mom, she's gonna be a little like psychotic. Uh oh. So I, uh -oh. Wanted, I wanted her to like test her her boundaries okay. and stuff with that. So we have a lot of the roles already taken, but the script is still being written. So okay. that's a big project that'll probably start filming before For the September. Of the maybe. Okay, so this year. So yeah, we'll yeah, film yeah. this year. Okay. And then the premiere is gonna be next year sometime. Yeah. Yes, I love it. And I was yeah. also telling him about a um, Christian script that I wrote in high school that okay. I'm actually rewriting, going through, and just rewriting everything. Because so I wrote it as a high school student, but now we're grown. Yes. So I just wanted to switch it up and, and update it. Yeah. So, um, but I know he has a lot of stuff he's working on too. So. Yeah. We yeah. said <laughs> our goal is he directs something, 
I film it with them. Yeah. You know, I direct something. He films with me. Yeah. We're both. Wait, at least come up with like two projects a year. That's the goal. Okay. Exactly. Two exactly. projects a year. So I have a project that we're going to talk about a little later. Okay. But yeah, I'm right. I'm working on a book called Addicted to the Afflictions. Okay. It's going to be some interesting stuff. Are you going to make me play the bad guy? Or? Ooh, you want to play the bad guy? He's not the main, I gotta, I gotta the main character. Is Sean. Sean is something else. And you do uh, like to, you know, kiss the girl. So, oh you know, Sean God. does a lot of... Give him like a, like a, can um, I play a minister or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> can I play a teacher? Saving souls. Uh, yeah, it's something. Like. Uh, He's always a big guy. We got to make you like a, a youth pastor. Something. Uh, yes. something. A lawyer or something. Some, a good right. lawyer. Something. We're, we're going to take out that stigma if you always, you know, <laughs> kissing the girls and all the oh movies. <laughs> I just, I don't know what she's talking about. Yes, know. yes. I mean, I mean, silly me. I mean, who, who was that? <laughs> what character was that? That was the character. See, that wasn't him. Exactly. That was That's Trey. not him. That was Trey, not yes, Jay. That yes. was Trey. Jay does not do that. He Jay does not do kiss that. the girls like that. I'm a clean, wholesome man. Yes. I can vouch for him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I can vouch for him. Thank you. So is he. So is he. Yes, yes. Now, if you see him kissing the girls like that after you see the movie, uh, put that practice. Facebook live, that and then practice. you can tag him in and be like, I thought this was it. No, you just like caught that. me at a rehearsal for another film. Oh, That's I it. love it. You see the comeback? It's practice. It's practice. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you, you practice know? makes perfect, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't even know why I'm vouching for this right now. <laughs> you know, we, we're veterans in it. We're veterans. That'd have been some pleas. They'd be like, I'm so nervous. I don't. You're the first person I ever kiss. I'm like, just calm well, down. Just calm, calm down. down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Right. This is okay. We we do this. Right. We, we do this. Just come on and bring it to You're kissing a me. professional. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> So you also have, um, and you have your own production company as well. It's called JoJo Productions. Yep. So tell us about the background behind JoJo Productions. So. It's going to make you cry. I know, I know. He's so sweet. Uh, JoJo is my son, Josiah Maker. Um, And I just, like, wanted to give him something. I wanted him to have something. Um, Yes. I feel like, you know, in the black community, you know, from a historical standpoint, yes. it's it's hard, you know, because of where we started from, yes. to leave something for our children. And, you know, like different other, you know, races and ethnicities, you know, they leave children with businesses. Mm. It's not as much as a right. struggle once right. you get out of high school, you know, and I, I, I never wanted my son to struggle. So yes. I named it after him. Um, he's very animated, you know, and I was trying to get him in the movie. Oh. Um, but because of like time constraints yes. and everything, it was difficult. But uh, my name is after my son because I just wanted to leave him something. A legacy, you know, yes. Right, and you know, his kids, yes. it could go down to, to them and everything. So, uh, Josiah, I love you. Oh, your um, daddy loves you, Josiah. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, I, I made that for him. I started, um, you know, officially writing and making, you know, my own production company in 2013. Yes. And I named it after him, just to leave him something and um, yes. just something he could build upon. I love you know? that. I so. love that. Don't you feel like crying now? Yes, <laughs> I yes. I mean, that is just so wonderful because we often don't, you know, we do think about our children, but when we're going after our dreams, sometimes it's about us. So to add him into that legacy, put him into exactly. that piece of your dream and your mission and, and with God and everything, to keep tying that in because our sons and daughters need our fathers mm -hmm. and so for you pouring into his life now it's just going to have so much effect on him in his future mm -hmm. and just to have that legacy that's going to live on forever and ever is it's just phenomenal definitely you know and i was just thinking you know god forbid if i was to, to die yeah. soon like i really feel as though this movie is going to take off yes and even though he's only five years old um we got a tight relationship he would have this you know, which the foundation which I've started, you Yay. know, to hold on to. Yeah. And he's very animated. I feel like he, he possibly could be an actor also. He, he's yeah. starting young, uh -huh. you know, so you have to be like, hey, next friend, you're like, okay, we're going to do this. And, you know, just start secretly, you know, feeling uh -huh. him, like catching him in the act. And like, see, this is why you need to be in daddy's film. Right. Because, you right. know, you already got it. He was like, yeah, I'm the production. Actually, I did, we did like a um, Good Friday skit. 
uh-huh. a couple of months ago. He was like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I have to say action. Are you guys ready? Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So he said action. to get the, he wanted to be the, the director. Yeah. Right. You know, he don't need to be behind the scenes. He, I mean, in the scenes. He need to, he can be behind the scenes he running wants to the be show. In charge. He's I like, love that. Daddy, I got to say action. Is that okay? Is that okay? <laughs> okay. Action. Yes. <laughs> and I actually, during the red carpet, I did speak to him briefly. Uh, so I cannot wait till you all can, um, to see part two mm. of the red carpet, which is coming. So I have not forgot about you fabulous guests, but it is coming. So probably by this weekend, you will see part two of those interviews. But I had an opportunity to talk to your son. And I said, did you know that you are famous? That this is you? You have a company? He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And he was just so sweet sweet and humble when he spoke well so that just shows again mm-hmm. you know the influence the positive influence and reinforcements that you have given and shown him at his young and tender age because we need that definitely. so I commend you for being a fantastic dad that is phenomenal I, you know I definitely have a good support system you know yes, uh, that's important. my mom my dad uh, my family his mom shout out uh, Jessica LeVere love you um She's a we we're a team. Yes, we're a and team. you have to be. You have to be. Mm-hmm. And uh, my mom and my dad watches him oh, pretty much every time yes. while we're filming. So um, I have congratulations, a mom and dad. You mm-hmm. are helping his dreams come Ms. true. Janice, everybody, uh, yes. you know it's that village. I got that village to That's support. That's right, me. and you have to have the village because otherwise your dream can starve or come to a stalemate right. because you don't have that integral support that you need. Because we need support when we go out our dreams. I know a lot of people think you know in this type of feel that we're just dreamers. Oh, you just want to be another, but it's not that. And when you something is put in you and you want to fulfill that, nothing is going to stop you. So whether you believe in this or not, we're still going to go down that path. And years later, when you look back and say, that person, well, yeah, they always said or they always did. So, you know, eventually we knew that they would. But, you know, just continue to pour and help into people filling out their dream and never tell your children that they can't do it. Mm-hmm. They can do anything that they want to do so don't be a dream starver you know to be a dream enhancer mm-hmm. yes definitely jeremy he has that that village behind him too i, I want to yes. say we have the, we, we are like the same person my yes. mom and dad support constantly definitely. shout out mom and dad yes hello grammy hello. grappy grandmommy <laughs> I watched, um, and my brother and sister, can't forget them. Yes, um, hello brother and sister. I Mom watched and videos. So like, I wasn't the first one to do this in my family. My yeah. dad asked. Wow. Even though my mom, even though my mom won't admit it, she asked too. She's, <laughs> she's, been, in, she's been in some of my comedy okay. sketches, my grandma. All right, Mom and Dad, go ahead. So they would have, um, like they filmed these little short videos for the family where my dad was like acting like my grandma my mom's mom uh-oh, uh-oh. she was acting like herself my uncle marvin he passed away okay. um, when i was young but he literally was a big inspiration to me acting too because i would watch their funny little videos wow. that they were doing. i wanted to do what they did so shout out to all of you guys i, I would be nothing without you guys aww. we promoted we promoted at his church the week of the wow, premiere okay. he came in he was like look everybody got these tickets they just <laughs> right. We there. Yes. I'm telling the whole congregation from both of their churches was there. So that is just fantastic to have that level of support. You know, that people believe in you. It's just priceless. You can't, certain things that you just can't buy and certain things that you just can't ask for, but to have people pour into you, you know, like that without even asking because they believe in you. It's nothing like no other feeling. Not everybody has that. And not everybody has that support. You're right. I appreciate it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see. I'm going to ask you all some, some good questions Uh-oh. here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, in, okay, so I'll start with, let's start with Jay this time. Uh-oh. Okay? You guys might want to cover your eyes. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's okay. nothing bad. So, can you tell us, in maybe three words or less, your purpose for what you do? God. One. Family. Two. This is good. This is good. I like this question. <laughs> <laughs> Those are always the first two. Yes. And blessing. Yeah. My blessing, like blessing. Whoever yes. sees it, I always pray like before any any yes. event that I do, 
any project that I film, okay, even comedy first. sketches, like if this project, even if it's a comedy, touches or blesses one person, then yes. I, it was worth it. Yes, it was worth it. I love that. And what about you? Uh, I feel like he's good. Right, I know he did. Okay, okay, you want me to switch up? Give me a different one. Give me a different one. Uh, If you have a different one, you might, you know, go a tad bit different. Um, but okay, um, okay, so. Why no? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I feel like we're almost the same person. Yes. Yes. In three words, why I do what I do. Um. I don't know if I can put it in three words though. Okay, give you can give us four. I'll give you one more. Give you an okay, extra. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I would say definitely one has to be hope. Hope. Hmm. Okay. Um, because I feel like we we do we live the way we live because we feel hopeless at times. Yes. Like it's yes. never it's never coming. Um, we don't we don't see brighter days. Yes. So um, they're like, oh, if Jay and Edwin can do it, right. they're chasing their dreams yes. on, a, on that extremely limited yes. budget. <laughs> on extremely limited. Extremely, though. <laughs> extremely. <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a limited budget. Right. Yeah, this is what our budget is, but yeah, I would definitely say, hope they're like, if these two can do it. Right. And why can't I? So like, yes. I definitely think, you know, that saying, you know, you chasing your dreams and seeing this, you know, an accomplishment inspires others to do the same. I would definitely yeah. say, hope. Hope. Um, God, I gotta go. God, God. You got it. I mean, yeah. hey, yes. That's the reason. Hope, God, I try, Yeah, I try to make it a little different, but hope, God, um, the supporters. Yeah. Support. I feel like people have invested their their um, uh, money. I had yeah. shout out to um. Julian Joseph, he works with me. Julian Joseph, hello. And um, we don't agree on everything, but he, yeah. like, after the premiere, he's like, I'm sorry I couldn't make it, but um, here's $100 to wow. your production company. So I'm like, wow, he didn't even see it, but it's people out there who believe in us yes. that much to do that. It's to into you. Anyway. So now I owe it. I can't quit now. Yes. He's yes. supporting the drive. He's supporting the movement, the vision. So I do it for the supporters. I got hope. I got God. And um it's gotta be the best one. Yeah, this this gotta be the best one. Uh oh, dang, he put um, a lot of pressure on you. You see that? Dang, he built you up real quick. <laughs> like and you better do it right now. It's like that. I'll, say, <laughs> I'll say I try to make it different. I would just say life, like I'm I'm here. Yeah. So life, so it's like I'm I'm obligated, you know, yeah. to chase my dream and, and you know, go after what's mine, you know, because it's what I'm here to do. Like, yeah. at the end of your life, I feel like at the end of my life, I would not have lived it perfectly. Yes. But I'm going to be proud. I'm going to be happy with it. And I'm not going to live with no regrets. That's right. No regrets. I have a no life regrets. and I'm obligated to live it to the fullest, you know? Yes. That's why, that's why I hang with you. See, I'm <laughs> telling you, these young philosophers here, I love it. I love it. Your legacy is what, who you are mm-hmm. and what you do and what you leave behind. So you have one with your JoJo Maker production company. If something was to happen to you today or tomorrow, Mm -hmm. what would you want someone to remember you by? Or remember about you? I would want people to say he gave his all. Mm. I want people to say, I I feel like I am horrible at balance. Like. I spend like 12 hours a day going to work and working and getting right. back and forth. Yes. So like my dad will be like, oh, well, you know, you got to spend more time with your son. And right. be like, I'm filming. It's like, we got to get this film done. Right. And my boss at work is like, well, you got to you gotta work, do better right. here. And my mom's like, I love you. You haven't called me lately. Right. I just like, I, <laughs> yes. I can't balance the it all. Talk. So I would definitely put, want people to say just like he he gave his all like yes. he tried his best. I, I really try to give my best effort yes. to everything, and when I fall short and at times I may say something wrong or I may hurt you, know that that it wasn't anything malicious or yes. anything evil that I intended to try I to do. That. So if people say like it really offends me to hurt people, yeah. So like if you tell me that like I'm apologize like I never meant to right. hurt you. And um, just to know, like, I gave my all. And I lived most moments like it was my last. Yes. I'm not, I'm a sinner, but I lived most right. moments like it was my last. Yes, I love you know? that. I oh. can't top that. Oh, <laughs> this guy, oh, this guy oh, 
this guy. Come on, come on. Where you at? Where if you I, at? If I, if I, I, know, if, I yeah. if I pass today, first of all, I want Chick Fil A to sponsor my funeral. <laughs> um, Chick Fil A, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chick Fil A has to sponsor there. my funeral. That's number one. So Chick Fil A, um, you have he made a, a song about Chick Fil A. A, a church hey, look, sponsor. Go to YouTube right now oh and search. Uh, she brought me Chick Fil A. Oh my God. He's gonna pop up. I love that song. I don't mean to cut you off. Keep going. So the key to your heart is Chick Fil A. Facts. Okay. Um, so y'all heard that here on the Impact Ramen Dorsey so Go. No, but. <laughs> Um, if I left today, I would want people to remember me for how I made them feel. Oh. So whether it was through my work yes. or through talking to you face to face, yes. whatever it is, I want people to remember me for how I made them feel. Yes, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Because you can't really take that away from somebody. Not at all. I think Even, the main thing is us making the difference. Yes. yes. That's the main thing about our yes. lives. Like our lives being here made a difference. Yes. Even if you don't see eye to eye with oh. certain people, those people still know yes. that you got their back and that you love them, that you're with them. So, once again, shout out to your supporters, my supporters. Yes. We couldn't do this without y'all. Shout out to y'all on Instagram. Hey, y'all. I love you guys, man. So, <laughs> everybody, our family, friends, can't do this. We, we couldn't do this interview without you. Oh, thank you. And the red thank car, you. you made the red carpet like official. Yeah, you did. Oh, you did. did. She has a microphone and everything. <laughs> like, this. It was amazing. It was dope. Thank you. Thank dope. you. Definitely so, be more to come. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You have not seen The Last of Us together here in the studio and everywhere. Coming soon. Stay tuned. So tell them how they can get in touch with you all. Um, so you can follow me at EKMaker3 on Instagram, EKMaker3 on Facebook. <clears throat> I'm Edwin Playmaker. I'm about to change it to Edwin. Edwin. Yes. Dubois. Dubois. <laughs> yes. So on... Um, Facebook, you can follow me, Edwin, Ma Edwin Playmaker. Just started Twitter, EK Maker 3. Uh, Snapchat, EK Maker 3. My email address, you can just, just reach me. You don't really got to give me any email. <laughs> I, I need, we always looking for new actors, though. Yes. And we love the ones that we already have. So, we're going to so, add you to the database. Give them a call. Definitely. Get at us now because we're reachable now. Pretty yes. soon we're going to have managers and yes. stuff. Yes, and you have to go through their agent. Um, who are you? Yeah, it's like that. All right, so <laughs> that's how you can reach me. What about you, big bro? Um, it's pretty much J Sykes on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, J-A-Y-P-S-Y-C-H-S. Um, that's my comedy brand, my acting brand, all my media stuff. Um. Of course, if you're a Patriots fan. Oh um, no! See, here we go. All right, See, I'm not I don't gonna talk know about why that. he brought us back that. there. <laughs> we done told him we don't like his little winning team all the oh, time. My God. Anyway, got. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, oh, I have a Patriots brand too. Um, so yeah, J Sykes pretty much is how you reach me. J A Y P S Y C H S. Yes, or one of his other 5,000 names, Very Jeremy true. J, you know, there's quite a few of them. You know, you have to use the almanac to find him. Like, true. <laughs> hey, ladies love Cool J. Yeah. Love uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this guy. Your name is Dubois. Like, right. I can't beat that. I'm a regular cool guy. Cool J and Dubois? Cool okay. J and Dubois. Theaters. Mm. I like that. Coming soon. Yeah, I like see, Cool J and Dubois. <laughs> We're going to buy the theater one day. We have yes. the premiere. Yes. That the premiere was at. Yes, I love that. And we definitely gotta stay in touch. We go right. We gonna write you in the movie, all right? Yes, hello. Yes, she said impact she wants to be a Robin reporter. Dorsey reporting to you live. So, <laughs> so if somebody like gets shot or anything, like we need her there on the scene. We might need to film uh, something right here, yes. live in the studio, because this yes. is like a new studio. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, late breaking. We can set that up. Okay. Set that up. I love it. I love. It. See, look at the networking going on <laughs> in here. Well, I would like to thank you all so much from the bottom, from the top to the bottom, in the middle of my heart for you all coming here to be on The Impact with Robin Dorsey to speak to our wonderful and fantastic viewers and supporters. You all are phenomenal and fantastic. You all have a lot of things wonderful things going on you are going far i see you you know with the big bright lights and you know in the future with the red coppers limos pulling up coming soon it's not too far off so stay with your dream stay humble continue being who you are you know and continue to follow your dreams because it's going to take you to where you're trying to go with god first always thank you so much for having us thank yes you. And so I also could not do this, The Impact with Robin Dorsey Show, without my fantastic sponsors. So we have Resurgence Beauty Lounge for my hair and my makeup. Thank you so much, Feta. Hey. I love you. 
We also have the Christopher Communications. He did my show's intro and my show music. And we have crafted web designs and graphic artists. So if you need a great web designer or graphic artist, contact Robert Jennings for Crafted. And I thank you all so much. I cannot wait to see and talk to you again. Same time, same place at the Impact with Robin Dorsey here at WBGR Sports and Entertainment Studios. And next month, next week, which is next month, we are going to do a Fathers um, for the whole month of June. I will be featuring fantastic and phenomenal dads because just as mothers are important, so are dads. So to have your dads or dads pouring into their children's life and being a part is very important. So I will be featuring fantastic and phenomenal dads the whole month of June. So if you want to come on back and be on the dad panel, you know, let us know. I mean, because it's just important. We have a lot of young men that need you. We love you, and we thank you for the time. I'll see you here again, same time. And um, next week, this is The Impact with Robin Dorsey coming to you live.